everybody, it's Megan Almond from Crafting an MBA. I'm actually here at the California Gift Show, exhibiting in the Beckman's West Handmade Division. Uh, so what I wanted to do today is actually walk you guys through the way I've designed my booth and talk about some of my favorite uh, trade show booth design principles. Um, and so the first one you saw as we started the video is actually that I think it's really important when you're designing your booth to think about the sight lines and the way that buyers are going to approach your booth. So I'm lucky I've got this great corner space here. So what I did was I actually thought about how the buyers were going to come and that's why I've got these great necklaces on the wall here. And then if you look, you approach from the other direction, you can actually see my name sign and my images. And this is a great strategy too for those of you who are jewelers um, to throw up some nice big images so people can see how to wear your product. And of course you can see, speaking of wearing products, that I'm wearing about three necklaces right now because um, it's a great way to show stuff off. Um, and then the other thing you'll notice is that I've pushed product way up to the aisle. So I'm right at the edge of my booth here. Um, and that's because I don't want buyers to have to feel like they're standing at a floating line. I want them to come right into the space. And I even can achieve that even more uh, by putting in this extra float wall. It gives me secret storage space for what I need to hide from buyers. Um, but what it also does is bring everything in my booth a little closer to the aisle. And my last favorite trick um, that I've started doing at a lot of shows is doing double duty shipping crate and display. Um, this is a big show travel for me. I'm coming all the way from Pennsylvania to here in Los Angeles. And I didn't want to just drag suitcases full of stuff. So I built these display crates, but the problem when you send display crates to a show is at the end of a show, you might wait three, four, five, eight hours for the show staff to bring your crate back from storage. So I solved that problem by actually turning my shipping crates into displays. So I've got legs down here that unscrew, um, and then I just take the crates, take everything out, flip them over, and then I've got my nice display that gets set up on top. So that's one of my new favorite tricks to make show more efficient. And I have to say, as someone who has both driven stuff to a show and had the stress of unloading a car um, and ship stuff, I much prefer the shipping. It allows me to just roll into a show with my product, set up my booth, and it's made for a much less stressful show season. Even though I'm on the first of a three trade show run right now, I have to say I'm the least stressed out I've ever been in show season. And I think shipping product is actually a big part of it. Uh, so I think this is me signing off, and um, I'll see you guys next time.